Hi, welcome to another video from Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can control the stepper motor in Arduino with gesture of your hand. For example, you move your hand to the left, the motor rotates to the left. If you move your hand to the right, the motor rotates to the right. Or for example, bring your hand down and the motor stop working. So I've used two other project that I have the video for one is for stepper motor you must watch that so you know how to set up the motor the connections because because the video will be too long to explain it here and also I have another video for the gesture sensor which explains how to connect and make it work with the gesture of your hand so I've combined those two codes with some modification to make it work and move the motor this project is uh, not perfect because the other gestures, for example, for, close, and all those will affect it, and it needs more refinement to fit your certain need or project for robotics. But it, it's perfectly working uh, that you can get started and re uh, refine it and make it perfect for the applications that you have. So let's get started. I have another video that explains how you can use this gesture sensor and so you see here the diagram all the pens are mentioned here so this is one piece that I'm using so watch that video first please before coming to this and also and my other video shows how you can use this stepper motor with this uh, controller so this controller and motor are coming together so we have it on our website robojax.com we are shipping it across Canada and also this sensor this motor needs separate uh, 5 volts so I have a 5 volt regulated voltage which I connected to a um, battery I'm getting from 12 volt it regulates it to 5 volts so whatever source you have you can connect it to 5 volts separately because this uh, will not be able to power it up so as I've explained it in my other videos so the gesture sensor is here this is uh, working now and I've connected it so the explanation is in the video so I have five wires connected together the motor is also have connected so this is a stepper motor that you have seen in my other video okay so if I uh, move to the left you can see the motor starts moving to the left and move my hand to the right motor starts rotating to the right so to stop it just bring down which means down means stop so let me run the code on the screen and show you now you can see on the screen that this is down motor, motor is stopped so if I move your, my hand to the right the motor rotates to the right and also you see the right text here so let me put my hand to the left you see on the left and the motor rotates to the left and bring my hand down you see and the motor stops this is a spark fan the APDS 9960 module which is which is this module okay which is this module so these two are automatically uh, working so this is the same as before these two pens the thing that I've created is an action so you see here action so one is used for stop two for clockwise and three for two for counterclockwise and three for clockwise and then uh, I've combined inside the setup the motor pens and also all the code that is needed for the gesture sensor they're all without any touch I've just included them then inside the loop this was as it was except this uh, gesture handle now is returning something an integer so i put this equal equal uh, action equal this so whatever this function returns will be stored in the action so this i have not changed it and i've written this code here i said if action is equal one go to step nine which i'm gonna step nine means stop if action is equal two then direction is true so based on the stepper motor code true means clockwise and then three false was counterclockwise which uh, you have uh, seen it um, until now so then this is for the stepper motor I put it inside the loop 
nothing has changed I've, I've not changed anything here and then I'm including this I've not changed it so this code which here it was void void I changed it to integer so it now returns I removed except left right and down I removed the rest and here I just added this one read because it has integer return I put return one when it's down and and return two when it's to the left and return three when it's to the right so the rest is the same and also for default I put one to keep the motor stopped if there is nothing happened so this code will be provided and you can download it so this was a tutorial how to control motor with your hand gesture if you like the video please thumb up and also please share it with your friends and also if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so I appreciate it